shutting the doors and the carbon doors, everything is um, so structured to fit um, inside the cabin. Um, pretty open inside um, in terms of, and it's typical of um, all the Ferraris I've had experience with. Um, that sort of open open tunnel down the back, obviously keeping all that space there. Um, yeah, you're sort of almost uh, ready for the, the voice activation. Now on the wheel, I've got it. I've got it on the checkered flag, so that's obviously uh, we're now in performance mode. Um, everything's pretty cold, so it's in a warm-up mode. We'll go out and do that. So we'll go out and warm up, have a feel, um, get some first impressions. The seat is um, is very very stiff and uh, very very hard, which um, obviously you can trim out. You've got the ability to, um, but um, yeah, for me it's. It's, it's definitely comfortable. All of these modern cars, there's so much torque and power where you just almost got yourself into, um, before you know it, into you know fourth and fifth gear where you know back in the day you might have gone back to second, these days you're third and grabbing fourth on the exit. Now we're still warming up here. Lots of, um, lots of initial turn in this car. You can sort of feel like the coming out of different cars, the the shock control is reasonably soft, like we are in performance mode, but um, but it's sort of a good a good balance in between. We all love a blow off valve, that's for sure. But that little rear wing that comes up gives us a bit of a hand under brakes, which is cool. Um, quite well we'll just pop it there into our manual mode get it turned what it gives you coming off is related to how much steering angle you've got. Plenty of turn when you get into the corner. It actually makes it quite easy when you come off. Only gives you what you need. As we turn in here, didn't give me a lot of turn there. What it makes up is in that grunt as you come off the turn. As you get going in the lap, you just gotta make sure you slow it up that little bit. Get it rotated, you got all that extra weight. that's on them at mid corner speed. system that it's got the delivery of the power is is very very good so um, the tires that it's got on it obviously uh, 
are then matched to this car nicely. So, um, but in terms of um, that, the amount of um, power, that hybrid, um, and obviously you've got the combustion engine that's revving all the way to, to 8.5, so it gets you there mighty fast. And it's, um, although you're going quick, it's, it's relatively easy to drive. It's not like it's you're white knuckling it to drive it. So I'm um, very impressed with this car.